Well, hello everyone. I got another Bible review for you. Thomas Nelson sent me this copy for review and uh, I'm just going to give you my honest uh, thoughts about it. Uh, this is the new King James Version of the Bible, a uh, compact edition, and this is the McLaren series in brown leather soft. It comes in this uh, clamshell, white inside, it's pretty sturdy, I like this one. And uh, here you have the ISBN. It retails for $49.99 US dollars, but you can get it for much less in some stores online. I'll leave uh, the red link to this Bible in the description box for your convenience. And uh, this is a the compact edition of the McLaren series, and uh, it's perfect for traveling and uh, bring it anywhere, you know, throw it into your backpack and uh, in your car, your bicycle and uh, it features the classic two column layout for uh, easy navigation it's line matched uh, which is great uh, for optimal readability it's uh, it's got a flexible sound binding you will see now in a second and it's got two double-faced uh, satin ribbons and it's clear and readable uh, comfort print in seven point size now that's a small uh, font but it is a small Bible and uh, it is what it is for this purpose so if you have bad eyes uh, probably this is not going to be for you but if you're okay with that and uh, you're just gonna use it for what it is this could be an excellent option for you out there so let's take a look so this is a pretty small Bible it's uh, 6.5 inches tall four and a quarter inches wide and, and it's about an inch and a quarter thick so pretty compact it is as you can see it has a very nice uh, leather soft uh, cover it's a two-piece cover as you can see it has a darker brown here then it finishes over there and it's attaching another lighter brown piece on the top and I think that's classy the spine is, is beautiful. You go one, two, three, four, and five raised hubs, as you can see, they're very classy. And a, a nice gold foil stamping design, also. You've got the Holy Bible, New King James, and Thomas Nelson on the bottom of the back. We've got the ISBN number, and uh, I will leave that information also in the description box. It comes with a perimeter stitching all around, and uh, this is a paste down liner car stock uh, brown as well and uh, as we read it comes with two ribbons now these are double-sided satin ribbons which are very nice but they are extremely short I would have wanted this to be at least two inches longer but it is what it is it comes with gold foil around as you can see, and uh, we'll just open this up. It comes with a presentation page for the McLaren series, Romans 10 15, and it does come with uh, smite sewn binding, which means all these pages are going to be smite sewn to the spine for durability. And this was indeed copyrighted in 2021 by Thomas Nelson. Here's a table of contents, book abbreviations. Special abbreviations. And here we got the preface to the New King James Version of the Bible, which I think is nice to have it here. And here we got the Old Testament. Now, the first thing that pops up is this lovely teal blue for the book names and uh, paragraph titles, chapters. And verses. Also we're gonna have chapter and verse for the footnotes down here and one of the things I'm gonna be missing in this edition is the fact that these are not the full set of the translators notes. The New King James is uh, well revered and loved by many due to the fact that he's got a beautiful informative translator's footnotes that 
are one of the best out there. Taking just half of them or just a few of them, in my view, uh, takes away from, from the value of this Bible. If you're going to have just a few, I'd rather not have any. Just plain text or just have them all. As an NKJV user myself, I really appreciate to have all the verse, all the foot, all the translator footnotes in every single edition of NKJV. Another characteristic of this edition is we got two columns, but it's not verse by verse. It is a paragraph style. For some, that's not a problem. For me, I prefer verse by verse any day. It helps reading, it helps finding your way in, in it, it helps when you're following somebody, preaching or teaching, it helps to identify quickly cha a chapter and verse in the scripture. So in my view, this could have been the perfect compact size Bible in a verse by verse format with full set of translator's footnotes. One thing I really like is the paper. It is line matched which means one line here is going to match another line on the bottom, on the other side of the page, which helps for readability. You don't have a lot of uh, show through or ghosting. I like that. And the text is away from the gutter, which again helps with readability. Now, the text is small. I, I, I have to say it's small, but I knew that because it's a compact edition. But having said that, it's crisp. It's bold and it is in my eyes. I don't have a hard time to read this uh, from like a normal distance. Now I have to say, for how long? I cannot tell you. I kind of get tired of reading small fonts pretty quick, but for a period of let's say 30 minutes, half an hour on the go, I wouldn't have a problem reading this, this uh, text block, this font. Now it is a black font, which means in the New Testament, the words of Christ, the Messiah, are going to be in black, which again, I love. That is my preference. I like black letter, uh, especially when you're gonna be using maybe this Bible with uh, highlighters or, or underlining. The black font is always, always going to be your friend. If you have red lettering somewhere, that's gonna mess you up. It's gonna mess your colors. Uh, when you highlight on it, it's gonna be very hard to read. So uh, red letter for me is a no go. If you're gonna just use it for uh, as a reader, you're not gonna be studying with it, you're not gonna be highlighting or, or underlining, that's fine. I don't mind that. But I really like to use my Bibles. And uh, only a few that I have with red letter, I never, I never use them for highlighting or uh, underlying purposes. So in this case, this is a great addition. Now, at the end of this Bible, after the book of Revelation, we just simply have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight pages of uh, uh, back and forth of lined paper, which I really appreciate, and just a note regarding the typeface, uh, which was done by 2K Denmark, especially for the new King James, which I really like. And uh, that's that's it. That's pretty much. That's all it is. It's it's simple. It's classy. It's portable. It's an excellent Bible. Uh, I have to say this. Leathersoft is amazing, great quality. I don't know how long this car stock will last. I would have loved to have this exactly same edition with a vinyl liner rather than car stock because this uh, car stock tend to, 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 to just to break up, to split up after a bit of use. Uh, now, that would give you an excellent option for a rebind if this is the type of uh, Bible that you would like to bring with you everywhere. Uh, honestly, I really like this. I enjoy this size, portability, and I really recommend it. So I hope this has helped you. If this is what you need, 
this is what you want i will put a direct link on the description box down below this uh, video and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet that will help us to grow and i will really appreciate that and i'll see you in another bible review or rebind until then shalom <music>